see I've put a little mark on each of these where 50 mil is and then I will use this drill bit here to bore out a hole big enough all the way along just to give me some idea of where I'm going I'm going to be going, running them this way and tacking them to that cable so I know where I need to tack them below I know where I need to drill below and I can then drill holes the whole way along and start feeding the cabling what I'm going to do at this end is I'm going to drill the hole and then I'm going to be putting an extra 2x4 in here as support for the floor so I'm actually going to drill lower than this so I can put the 2x4 up this way nice and strong in here to give support for the floor this one's obviously sitting on a joist so I've got extra support here but my chipboard flooring is only 600 wide so I need to have something in the middle here just to offer a bit of support um, and I'll do the same over there all, all the way along I have pre-drilled holes that you will see all along here holes like this so I measured down and I've measured up to make sure that I'm within tolerance for part P of the regs for uh, electrical cabling so I can then put the netting and put the insulation in but then run run the cabling tacking it along here running it through here for the ring main that will go around so it's the next day and I've just had a thought with the ring main so bringing it around I want to put a socket on here because if we want to have a table here or something we want to connect up I don't know a lamp or my wife wants to use her hair straighteners or whatever she needs I want to have a plug socket on here but obviously I've got this steel beam so what I'm gonna to have to do is drill a hole through the back of this stud run the cable out along here pop it up here go through there down along and up and in and in the process of doing that, it made me think what are we going to be doing over here and how are we going to have lighting here or how are we going to have any sort of use of that space. And we've been talking about it a little bit on and off, my wife and I. And actually by running the cable, the, the ring circuit here, this way, it helps and it gives me the option to do something which I'm going to tell you about now. So when you have your ring circuit, that's two and a half mil squared twin and earth cable your lighting is on one and a half mil squared twin and earth but what you can do is you can run lighting off the mains if you run it via a fused spur i will have the ring circuit running in here coming up and along and all the rest of it i will then leave some one and a half mil twin and earth with a fused spur and that way if we want to put some led lights or something you know a little string of led lights in here we can or if you want to light that area, I've got the option to be able to do that later. I can have a switch, I can have a fused spur, and it will all work. You know, it can all just be stacked up in here. I might even put a plug socket mounted on here. So this will be a kind of little electrical section there. Single gang socket there. Fused spur, light switch, and that can control any LEDs that we want to put along there. And then I can run the cable here, so I've notched out a big big section there that allows for a cable to to come up and through and then I'll and then I'll run it in here and have a two gang socket on this side as well and then the loop will run all the way back so it will it won't be a spur it will be a proper this will be a part of the ring all the way around which is why I've notched them out so wide so that the cable can come up and then cable can go back down again as you can see is just extend the extend the ring over here so I'll have a single socket on there I'll have a fused spur and I'll have a light switch the light switch can run off the main scoot on 1.5 mil twin and earth and it will only be powering LEDs little LEDs just kind of light that area up back there and I've put another plug socket uh, area there cabling for that there and it is all on the loop it's all on the all on the ring none of it's a spur and then it tracks back inside here and under the stairs back to where the junction box area is going to be so you've got the cable here with the loop that is all going to be junctioned up there so I'm pleased with that 
Right, it's half past six and I'm done for the day. I have just finished here running the ring main so I can now put that insulation in. I'll just kind of loosely tack that up against the side there, run the insulation in tomorrow. So I've literally just run it around and it goes under the steel beam there, around, up, so we'll have a plug socket on either side of the bed and it comes along, runs along that stud there goes that way to come up here for a plug socket on there, on that wall, comes back, comes along, comes up in there for a plug socket on this wall here, and back through the stud work here, and under, through the floor joists I mean. So that's all done, I'll clip it all tomorrow, I've got the clips to be able to do that, I've got the clips down there, 2.5 mil. Yeah, so 2.5 mil clips that will happen tomorrow, which is all good. It's from a good friend of mine, Bosch. Let's get it done. That was a Christmas present, quality Christmas present there. Now, for those of you who are really fussed about regs and regulations, I know that you are not meant to have a junction box under the stairs or under the floor. Well, that's not true. You are not meant to have a junction box somewhere that is deemed inaccessible. Now under floors or above ceiling, under ceilings or above or under floors is deemed inaccessible. Because this area here is going to be a landing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to terminate all of the wires and I'm going to put them all in junction boxes at this point here, off the steel, and I'm going to box it all out. I'm going to have it all boxed and then I'm going to put a flat lid on it which you can lift off. There will be carpet here, but if you pull the carpet up and you lift the lid off, all of the junction boxes will be available and that is perfectly acceptable. They'll all be in Wago clips which are deemed maintenance free, so you ca I'm, I'm inside the regs there at that point. So actually it's fine and then, I could, so that means I can terminate all of these cables, add them all to junction boxes with space for me to then basically under the stairs run the cabling down into the consumer unit in one single go. And that's the best way for me to do it without having to worry about inaccessible junction boxes or having a junction box on the side or anything like that. So yeah, that's that. I am done for the day. Tomorrow what I will do is clip everything in place, clip, clip all the bits in place, have a bit more of a tidy up and probably get some of the insulation down in the floor.